Hello my darlings, I'm bringing you my October empties for candles and wax, so I do hope you enjoy. Oh, it was just me, just me. Um, yeah, happy uh, Halloween. Uh, so the kitties are going to be coming around in probably about an hour or so. Uh, but if you hear the doorbell, I guess they are going to be, the little ones usually arrive earlier. But yes, I do have my... Uh, wax empties and uh, I hope you enjoyed some of the uh, fall scenery in the woods. Uh, you might have noticed that uh, Mildred is not in the pictures, uh, just Abigail. So a few weeks ago uh, she was kind of favoring her leg and uh, we took her to the vet and she felt it was the ligament and uh, she says you know just rest her and do anti-inflammatories and uh, pain medication and she did get better. Uh, and then um, about 10 days later, she started favoring it again, uh, despite continuing rest in that. So we took her back, and this time the uh, other vet said, well, well, we really can't assess whether it's a ligament or not because she's such a strong athletic dog um, that uh, it's you usually should get um, some resistance uh, when you move the joint and if you don't get any resistance that means the ligament has torn a little bit and it's kind of the human version of the uh, ACL so you hear about athletes tearing their ACL in their knees very common and he says uh, just because she's such an athletic dog that it's bound to happen so they actually had to sedate her because she's such a strong dog to kind of assess that it was her ligament so she's back, she's back on another round of anti-inflammatories, etc. But she still uh, is favoring a little bit. So uh, she probably will need surgery. Uh, we're just waiting for the surgery consult and hopefully it'll be this week. So um, yeah, I feel terrible. I feel so guilty when I go out without her. Uh, but I need the exercise. I need to get out in the woods and Abby needs exercise. So anyway it, it is it is what it is and uh yeah october wasn't the best month for uh, good news uh so there was mildred and then frank is going this friday for cataract surgery um i found out that one of my um subscribers that's been um watching me for years and um uh, we've been emailing each other um i hadn't heard from her for quite a while and i was quite worried i knew she was in and out of the hospital with um circulation problems to her legs and that and I knew that she was in rehab last time I talked to her and I didn't hear from her didn't hear from her was emailing her and I just thought the worst and then I found out that uh, she had passed away from COVID so yeah that was like a punch in the gut um yeah I really miss her wonderful comments she's just a lovely lady so um and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, and then October, of course, uh, that's when my uh, son Garrett, his birthday, and that's the uh, month he passed away also. So yeah, um, my first retirement was kind of a write-off. It was just a lot of bad news and that. So um, anyway, uh, so I will start with um, the uh, candles. Now this one, um, I'm going to finish it up. Um, probably uh, tomorrow. There's a few hours left. And it's the Bath and Body Works Mary Mimosa. And this one is a repackage of, I think, Rose Vanilla. I definitely get a rose scent in here. I do get a fruity, like the berry scent, uh, but it definitely is a repackage of, I think, Rose Vanilla. One of those rose candles, anyhow. Sparkling champagne, red apple slices, ice sugar crystals. Yeah, I don't know. I I get rose. I definitely get rose. I get a fruity scent. Um, but I, anyway, um, it's not uh, the scent notes anyhow. Um, but yeah, this one uh, there's no issues with the uh, the burn, and it's strong. It's it's like an eight or nine out of ten. 
And then Julian had picked this out um, for himself and has uh, been melting it in his room and it's Harvest Pomegranate. And this one um, has a pomegranate, the apples, uh, sweet black plum. So it's definitely a fruity fall scent. I think you get the pomegranate right off the bat and then I get the apples. The plum might add a little bit of sweetness or earthiness to it. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like there's been any issues with the burn. Um, I know I can smell it in the hallway before I get into his room so the, the throw has been uh, pretty good. And a couple of Yankees. Uh, this one, oh god, I've had some of these for years. Um, because I only burn them like, you know, a couple weeks before Halloween and so they don't get used up too quickly. This is from 2014 and this is Witch's Brew. And yeah, this one, um, I think I had to really trim the wick because the flames would just be wild. So really had to keep this one trimmed. Um, this one is definitely a very, it's very unique. It's very earthy. I. Some people say licorice. Oh, I know Happy Halloween. I'm burning it downstairs right now. Happy Halloween is definitely a licorice scent. This is different from Happy Halloween. This is a very earthy, uh, I want to say dirt, like a dirty basement. I don't, um, yeah, it's just very earthy. There's a little bit of smokiness in there. There's woodsiness. It's just... It's just a lot of uh, different scents, but it's absolutely perfect for Halloween. Or if I'm watching like a historical show or whatever, I really do like it too. Or supernatural paranormal show. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a classic. I really do love Witch's Brew. And I do have Witch's Brew in a different label on that. <clears throat> and this is Yankee Candles Praline and Burn. And this is in the, uh, what do they call this kind of, oh, it's, it's a tum it's their new tumbler anyhow, in the paraffin wax. And this is the one where you take the lid and then you use it as like a little stand or whatever. Um, this one had the two wicks, so it was actually a pretty good burn. There's a little bit of residue, but I mean, it's not a big deal. It was a very good burn. You definitely get a warm, earthy, woody scent. It's very warm. You get a little bit of sugariness, nuttiness in there with the, the woods. Um, it's probably about a medium throw, probably about a five, maybe a six out of ten. Uh, but I did have good luck of what yeah, good luck with it. Um, I just haven't gone to Yankee in the longest time. I'm just waiting. Um, I don't know, maybe the SAS sale I'll go, but I just I just never get out to Yankee too much anymore. And then uh, this is Autumn Day by Bath and Body Works, and it finally came back this year. I think it was probably online exclusive or whatever. But this one is just such a unique, it's not your typical kind of fall scent, but it does kind of scream fall. Um, this one I always have trouble um, describing. Crisp green apple, fig, uh, white birch, and uh, cedar. So I do get a little bit of the apple. There is a little bit of woods, but there's a kind of a, uh, there's a note in there that's just very hard for me to describe. But to me, it is autumn in a jar. It's just, I really kind of miss this one. So I did get a backup of that one. Um, yeah, no issues with the burn. Now this one was maybe... Uh, a little stronger than a medium, maybe a 6 out of 10. So it, it didn't do that great in open concept, larger room, but like a small medium room, it, it did good. Uh, their classic Cider Lane by Bath & Body Works. This one is so good. Um, so caramel, Granny Smith, and dark brown sugar. I think it's more of a, like a red apple than, than a... Uh, green apple. Definitely get the caramel. You get the apple. There's kind of an earthiness about it. Um, again, I don't remember having any issues with the burn on this one. I don't think. Uh, but this one's strong. Like This is like a 10 out of 10 on the throw scale. 
Uh, another one I just love is Pumpkin Patch, which is also comes out as Heirloom Pumpkin. Um, this one was poured in 2018. Yeah, this one is more of a earthy pumpkin than like a sweet bakery pumpkin. It's just a very straight, earthy pumpkin. There's a there's a hint of spice, but it's not as, as spicy or sweet as like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. It's just earthy, and I just absolutely love this pumpkin scent. So, so good. That label is so pretty. And this is Pumpkin Apple, and I do like the Bath & Body Works version of Pumpkin Apple. And, um, yeah, Pumpkin Apple Ground Cinnamon. I, I wouldn't say the cinnamon is... Uh, overly strong um it's a uh, not a red hot cinnamon oh, but this is just the perfect blend i think the apple might be a little more dominant like 60 40 uh pumpkin versus apple but um and there's just enough cinnamon in there uh, but i really love their version of apple pumpkin and yeah this throws like a beast to this apple pumpkin Oh, oh, pumpkin clove. I love pumpkin clove. Now, this label looked absolutely gorgeous when it was lit up. Now, you can see the label kind of melted a bit. This one wick here, um, I had to keep shoving it back to the middle with a knife. Um, so, yeah, at one point I should have paid more attention, but it was getting a little, little warm on that side. Not a lot of set there, but, um, yeah. That's why you really have to wash these and not burn them for, try not to burn them for more than four hours or so because it kind of melted there. But pumpkin clove, oh boy, this is a scent made in heaven. Um, there, There is cinnamon and there's clove. Again, it's not a red hot cinnamon. It's just so warm. You get the pumpkin. Oh, it's just, oh, I just feel like putting my flannel at pajamas on and getting wrapped up in a blanket. It's just so warm and comforting and uh, just get that clove scent is just so warm and decadent. I love pumpkin clove. Oh my gosh. Um, got a couple of backups of that one. And then uh, bergamot waters. Uh, this is another, it's a masculine scent, but it's, um, it's not clony. I, I, I don't get a lot of clone from it myself. Oh, this is so good. This is right up there with flannel. It's just a uh, watery, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I just hit a blank. I already had some chocolate and it's kind of affecting my brain. But it's just, it's just watery and soothing and spa-like. I mean, yeah, I guess it's cologne but it's it's not a harsh cologne. It's just so soft and soothing. And yeah, I've gone through so many bergamot waters. They've always been strong, and I just love them. Alrighty. Ooh, it's starting to get dark. Better hurry up before the kitties arrive here. Um, I'm trying to get through a lot of wax melts. Uh, because I have so many and um, I'm really making an effort to get through these. This is Sensational's Blueberry Tart. I uh, love blueberry scents. It's a lovely transition scent into the fall. This is probably 80% blueberry and about 20% kind of that doughy tart. Um, but yeah, this is really, really yummy. Uh, it's long lasting and um, uh, fairly strong also. And this is Scentsy's Cedar Cider, which is a really lovely, earthy, woodsy kind of uh, apple scent. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, there's just that lovely, that, that wood scent is just so nice with the apple there. Oh, do you like my, these are my kiss nails, the press-on nails with the little spiders and spider webs and that. Um, Twilight. Mist and Dreams by Sensationals. And this is uh, basically um, a red hot cinnamon. There's really nothing else. It's just a red hot cinnamon. And I love cinnamon scents. I really do like them. They're perfect for fall. So yeah, that was a red hot, though that wasn't overly strong though. 
This is Serenity Spa by Sensationals and I melted this in the bathroom downstairs and this is really, really nice. Oh, it's so nice. There's, uh, it's a little bit of a perfumey spa kind of scent, but it was very soothing and relaxing, but it did have a little bit of a sharp perfumey note, but I really enjoyed that one. This is Sensational, sorry, Yankee Candle Single Wax Melt, which looks like this. And this is in the classic autumn. And oh, this is one of my favorite Yankee scents. It is just, uh, it's just fall in a wax melt. Oh, it's so good. It's just like earthy leaves and I don't know. It's, it's always so hard to describe this one, but it just smells like fall. And actually, this one threw quite, quite well. And uh, I do have a centerpiece cup in uh, Yankee's Apple Cinnamon. And this is actually still going. I think this has probably reached about 30 hours or so. Um, it's fairly strong. It fills up most of my bedroom. Um, but yeah, it's, it's similar to the Bath & Body Works Apple Pumpkin. They're a little different in their own little way. But um, yeah, it's, it's a really, really good version of Apple Pumpkin. And this is the Gel Tin in... Uh, or autumn leaves also so yeah I really went a little wild with that scent. Uh, this is Scentsy's Jack's, Obs Jack's Obsession and this one was like a kind of a green apple scent it was actually fairly long lasting if I filled up the spare room it did have a really nice uh, green apple scent. It did fill up the room, but it wasn't overpowering. Sensational's Honey Lavender Ice Cream. I think I still have a couple of these because I really do like it. Um, it's pretty potent though. It's so strong. I use one cube and it would fill up a room and keep going and going. I blow it out at night. I come down in the morning. I can still smell it. And that's just one cube. Uh, so it's honey, it's lavender, it's an herbal lavender, it's a heavy honey scent. There's not a lot of ice cream in there. It's just um, those heavy, sharp honey lavender scents. Um, it's potent. Um, but I, I love it. I love it. And another one that's not to everyone's taste is Nag Champa Incense. So I still have a pile of these as backup. And I also have... I don't have it here. Um, there was a dual pack with Meg Champ incense and on the other side was red wine or something like that. I have so many backups. Uh, so you have to like incense. This one is very heavy. Um, it's again one cube will fill up a room and um, it'll last for two days without relighting it. But yeah it's a very... Uh, it's... It's kind of a perfumey scent though. Not, I wouldn't say cologne. It's just, it's just hard to describe this one. Um, but yeah, this is perfect for around Halloween. I love this when I'm uh, reading or watching a historical uh, fiction or a historical movie, um, paranormal shows, supernatural shows. Uh, it's just, I don't, it just sets the scene so nicely. It's just very exotic and decadent and uh, yeah, it's, it's perfect for those kind of shows. Fusion Vanilla Cookies and this is sister company to Sensationals. And yeah, I thought this was, be, you know, oh, this is okay, but it was actually a really uh, a nice surprise. I do get oatmeal, I do get a sugary uh, note in there, I do get a vanilla note. Uh, basically, smell like vanilla cookies. And it was, I, I didn't think it would be that strong, but it was, I mean, it was, you know, medium strength and, um, you know, lasted a decent amount of time. Uh, this is the Gel Tin Warmer by Yankee Candle in, what, what are you in? Autumn Wreath. Now, this one actually, I love the scent. This is just a really beautiful woodsy 
uh, apple scent, but it just wasn't very strong for some reason, this one. Uh, this is uh, Yankee Candles Melt in Cafe El Fresco, which is a really lovely, creamy uh, type of uh, scent, uh, almost like a latte. And this one had probably about a 6 out of 10 throw, so it did better in like a smaller room. This is Lavender and Vanilla Bean by Sensationals in their aromatherapy line. And I really do like this one. It's a, it's a very soapy uh, type of uh, lavender scent. So it's not a highly astringent uh, herbal type of lavender. It's very, very soft. It's very soapy. Like this smells like lavender soap. And I, I, I do like it for the bathrooms. This is Among the Trees by Sensationals. And this was earlier in the month, so I gotta jog my brain here. I Yeah, this one changed when it was melting. It smells somewhat cologne-y, but not a sharp old man kind of cologne. This one did really soften up and it almost kind of went from cloney to like a perfumey, greenery scent. It wasn't the strongest though. It was only about a medium throw. So I, I don't know if I'd purchase it again, uh, but it does smell a little bit different when it's warm. Sensation, sorry, Sensi's Apple Crush. Now this one wasn't overly strong. I kind of struggled to smell this one. This one was uh, like a green apple scent, but not quite as much as that Jack's Obsession. It was just a little too light to get a good feel for it. Uh, this is Harbor's Edge by Scentsy. This one I did um, melt in Julian's bathroom, and I really do like this one. It's, uh, it's a little bit cloney, but it's more fresh air, watery kind of scent. Um, it didn't last too long, but it did fill up the bathroom. But yeah, I mean, I would repurchase it. I did like it. It was a very pretty scent. Yankee Candles uh, Wax Melt in Dried Lavender and Oak. I really did like this one. It was a woodsy lavender scent. Uh, it wasn't an herbal lavender scent. It just wasn't very strong. I love the scent. It is so, so good. Yeah, it's not blatantly lavender. It's just tamed down with that soft, woodsy scent. It just wasn't strong enough. Uh, oh, this one's good. Sensi's uh, Rustic Lodge, and I'm pretty sure I got it back up. Um, yeah, I got this. Um, well, I had this melting back here, my little retreat. And I could smell it throughout. I could smell it into my uh, bedroom. This one threw like crazy. It was very strong. And yeah, it was it was like a rustic lodge. You get kind of that woodsiness. You get a smokiness. You get Jason in a flannel shirt. A slight touch of soapiness. But oh my gosh, this was... It, it was like walking into a, a cabin. It was so beautiful. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got a backup. I hope I have a backup. This is an oldie. Uh, Sensational is no place like home. So this is a earthy cinnamon scent. Yeah, that's all about all you get is just earthy cinnamon. And uh, actually, it still threw quite well, even though it's, I don't know how old that thing is. Apple and Hibiscus by Ashlands from Michaels. And this did not smell like apple or hibiscus. I'm not sure who named these things. It smells like clone. It wasn't a terrible clone, but it did not smell like apples or hibiscus. Um, it didn't last too long. The strength was about medium, but yeah, it just it smelled like clone. Um, pumpkin apple muffins by Sensationals. Oh my gosh, this is good. This threw like crazy and it lasted a long time. Uh, you do get the apple, you get the pumpkin, you get that kind of muffin mix scent. Oh, this one is so, so good. I love this one. All right, we're getting there. 
I told you I'm getting through a lot of these wax melts here. Applewood by Sensationals, another apple scent that um, I'll got bird poop on there. Um, it did not smell like apples or woods very much. It was more of a cloney scent. I mean, I did get a little bit of apple, but it was more clone than anything. Like a sexy man, like picking apples in an apple orchard. I don't know. Yeah, so it uh, wasn't quite what I was expecting. Pink Hot Cocoa by Sensationals. This smelled like um, a frozen strawberry yogurt, actually. I mean, I didn't get any chocolate or anything like that. It's, um, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's creamy. It's just like frozen yogurt with some fruit in it. Didn't last too long. The throw was maybe a medium or so. Uh, Fusion's Warm Welcome. And I think this was cinnamon too. Yeah, this one was cinnamon. Oh, I really like this one though. I mean, there's, I know most cinnamons just kind of smell the same, but there's, this one has just a little twist and turn in there. I, I did like this one. It, um, through quite nicely. And, oh, this one's so good. Sensationals Aromatherapy Current and Bay Leaf. Oh, I've overheated here. Okay, I, I better say goodbye. Anyway, I hope you have a happy Halloween. Um, we'll, we'll see you later. Be kind to each other. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss. Goodbye.